All right, it, I guess it's working. Uh, I have 2005 Toyota Solara six cylinders, and transmission doesn't work. What happens? Uh, forward gear is stuck, and it the uh, wheels turn forward in neutral. And there is no reverse, which I, which I was told there is no reverse because front clutch is stuck. And I, when I turn uh, gear into reverse, reverse clutch starts fighting forward clutch. So I took apart valve body, transmission valve body, and uh, it's pretty hard because there is no manual for it that's pretty bad i'm using there is a i have a manual so my transmission is u151 e i uh, e i believe one u151 e and i have a manual for toyota u140 which is much older transmission it there is something in common but not much so worst thing, I, I have to be super careful and put every piece in a, in, a, in a bag and write it down and take pictures, lots of pictures. I found a few sticky pistons uh, inside valve body. This is valve body consists of two main parts. This is a lower body. This is upper body. There is a spacer between them. This is still spacer. There is a gasket. Pretty complicated stuff and really scary. I hate that. This is the highest level of a car mechanic job. All right, when I, sh when I want to show you, I want to show you typical piston of weld body. All right, I have tripod here. All right, this is the typical, this is the piston, spring. This is just a plug which holds everything in place and this is kind of like a pin holding this plug in place. Goes like that. So, so that plug uh, is the same for all of them and uh, inside the body if that piston get if that piston stuck that's it that you you're gonna have stuck gear or it will never go into gear whatever position it is and in the past i had i believe 2003 chevy impala which had very common problems sticky valve body piston what i did I removed valve body and I fixed it. It was many years ago. I don't remember details, but it was very well known problem and it was on the internet. So I found all information and I removed valve body and I found that sticky piece and I put it back and that's it. Transmission was fixed. So now I hope that Toyota Solara has the same way to fix it so unfortunately I'm gonna repeat that second time unfortunately the worst problem for me is there is no part diagram for valve body Toyota doesn't sell parts for valve bodies they sell 
completely well body which is about one thousand dollars or so so I cannot buy small piece if I find some broken one well I have I already have second transmission which I removed from junkyard paid like a couple hundred dollars for it it was cheap because I removed it myself it's like self-service junkyard but I'm trying to to trying to be smart here so I'm trying to figure out what's going on I'm trying to fix it without removing transmission and I'm gonna probably lose do by doing so I'm gonna lose a few days because switching transmission would be much much easier and faster than trying to fix the old one without even removing it I, I rebuilt a couple of automatic transmissions in the past it was one of them was um, Honda core transmission alright that's it I was thinking about recording everything but it's too much stress doing it and I cannot record it on top of that stress I cannot set up my cell phone and record the video so just wish me luck and hey guys if one of you can get me parts diagram for valve body of 2005 Toyota Solara six cylinders or maybe a four four cylinder which would be close to my to my transmission so please uh, help me with that that's it good luck if you're gonna fight your transmission i wish you luck and uh, like i said i believe this is at the highest level of a car mechanic job Bye.